I feel severely depowered when I jump from my end game pay to win account to my beginning new free to play account. I feel like Kratos when he went to Valhalla after fighting Odin. Something is happening. Back to basics then. Oftentimes we get into raid and everything is coming at us so very quickly and we're achieving quite a bit, we're reaching milestones, we're finishing the missions, we're doing challenges, we're progressing so fast. We have unlimited energy because Polarium keeps giving us all of these resources. But then you get to a point where all of that kind of comes to a stop. You get stonewalled. You will get to this point where, especially if you're not paying, you will have nothing to do or you don't know what to do. And even if you do know what to do, you can't do those things because you don't have energy. You don't have the resources. I want to provide some context. When I first started playing Raid back in 2019, whenever I came to a part in the game where things got too difficult, I used my wallet to overcome it. It's no secret. I was a dirty pay to win guy. Now I wasn't a complete whale, but I got to the point where I was a pretty fat salmon. I'm starting to see the crux of the dilemma for newer players and free to play players. You guys have it a lot harder than I remember, than I realized. We finally six starred Saurus. I'm working on him being my six second farmer. We've completed all of campaign except for nightmare. We're not quite there yet on the gear. I need better gear. In order to get better gear, you need energy. Guess what I don't have, guys? Energy. Even if you know what to do and where to spend your resources, you don't have any resources. Where are you going to get resources from? Your dailies? All done. Advanced quest? I can't even do Doom Tower. <laughs> Fight Tag Team Arena with a team of four different affinities? Bro. I have no void champions. None. How am I supposed to do that? You can't. I don't want to make this a rant video. I'm just trying to express that I, I see and I'm here with you guys and I understand where you guys are coming from. A lot of the people, the, the, the woes that I'm seeing in, in like my discord or in chat or in YouTube videos. So if you're struggling in, in raid and you don't know what to do, Usually my number one piece of advice is find the one thing that you want to do and focus on that one thing and do your best to focus on that one thing. If you're like me and you can't focus or you're very, very forgetful, then maybe write it down somewhere. But me right now, my one and main only focus is to get Saurus to the point where I can get him to a six second farmer. For now, that's my one and only objective. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I need to farm the dungeons. Which dungeons? Specifically, I'm looking at Fire Knight, Dragon, and Spider. Now, Fire Knight, because I need him in Savage Gear. I would love to have him in Savage Gear. Crit damage gear would be great because he's going to be my nuker through the waves so that he can be that six second farmer. And Dragon, because it's generally useful. There are more set pieces here, speed, Life steal. There's put an ass first there because I'm ambivalent about completely going life steal for too long. It's great for progression. It's great to get you to where you need to go, but you want to start peeling back from life steal as soon as possible. You know, just keep that in mind. But there's nothing wrong with using it. Great for progression, accuracy, especially if you can't get perception sets yet, but mainly speed. Spider, we need those accessories, crit damage, amulet. I need more rings. I don't I don't have any accessories for him, really. Just these two measly ones. We do have crit damage, but it's only three stars. Masteries are another thing. So and this is this let me let me pull you guys in. C come over here real quick. What I do know is this. If you're running Minotaur 15. It's a lot more efficient. It's more so efficient to run Minotaur 15 to do this and get your scrolls this way rather than paying 800 gems. 
Well, who would I use to do that? Well, I would use Sun Wukong. But Sun Wukong is nowhere near capable of doing that quite yet. He can do it on my main account, but this is where the disconnect is. I still think with the mind of an end gamer. I'm not thinking like a newer player. If I could go back maybe like a week or two, I probably would have saved 800 gems and used it on Saurus so that I could at least get his masteries all the way up, put the Helm Smasher on him, and then started going ham on the other uh, masteries. So what I'm going to do right now, in retrospect, after being reminded by watching Beanie because Beanie is doing his free-to-play journey and he uses 800 gems on his Leorius and that made progression a lot better for him. Uh, you know, seeing that in retrospect, I should have done that. And you know, I'm not afraid to backpedal and say, you know, I made I made a mistake here. You know, just because I've been playing for five years and I, I tell you guys this all the time, I have no expertise in basically, and I'm just the guy behind the camera. Like I'm not a pro at this game. I know some stuff through trial and error, but I'm, I'm just like you guys. I just happen to be behind a camera. So don't think too much about, you know, what I know. Beanie talked about this. He was like, you dropped 500 gems in the beginning. And then he did the math. You could find the discussion. You could ask him about it on his channel. He was like, oh, you know, if I spent 500 gems in the beginning rather than saving it, that kind of doesn't really make sense because it's going to be a long time before you make your money back, bef before you make your gems back. So this is a good investment for long term, but early on when you're starting out, you may want to hold off on investing in the gem mine. When he said it to me, bro, I'm telling you, this made so much sense. To me, it makes sense. It's better to use those initial set of gems on masteries or energy in the beginning than to use it on the gem mine. If you don't know what to focus on, I would suggest joining a clan, a good discord where we can sort of guide you in the right direction. And I say we because you can join my Discord or you can join my clan Discord. A lot of knowledgeable players, both endgame and newer players alike. So you can connect with people who are in the same spot as you are. You can connect with people who are where you want to be. So you will have the best of both worlds there. If I sound exasperated or if I sound sick, it's because the kids at work got me sick. One of the things that I wanted to point out was this, the referral programs to get to get Chrono which is good you get all these rewards jamarsa is a great early to mid game reviver support champion huge you also get your void shards your epics and your sacreds again here same thing this doesn't take too long to get it's around 40 and 50 that starts to kind of drag on i'm not saying this is bad i'm not in any time crunch i'm not in any rush there there is no there's no reason for me to feel rushed but i do want to get out of the way because i'm a huge checklist guy but the point is I'm playing on like five different accounts right now and I'm spreading myself way too thin. I'm still going to continue doing this so I can get it out of the way and be over with it. But I realized maybe I should have focused on one thing at a, at a time because when you spread yourself way too thin and your resources are going in so many different directions, you end up doing nothing, which is kind of where I'm at right now. Not that I'm not doing anything, but I'm not like if you if you compare, for an example, the progression that beanie has versus this account i would argue that beanie has already kind of surpassed where i'm at he's ahead of me in the missions and arena he's a knowledgeable guy he knows what he's doing and he's done this a few times and he's stayed more so in the beginning stages of raid and he's kept on making new accounts so i i would say that he's got a better perspective and know-how in terms of navigating through the beginning stages of an account on raid whereas me i've been sitting balls deep in the end game so i'm so disconnected now another thing that i do is early on i think to myself you know i want to pull a bunch of shards i want to pull a bunch of shards because this is this is what happens right you start this account and you don't you don't really have any champions to do any of the content that you want so you just start pulling shards which is what i did i pulling pretty much every shard not really waiting for anything by the way you should wait for two axes or guarantees you should be conservative with your resources but i'm not because i want to i want champions i want champions so i can do things the issue is when you start getting a bunch of champions and start focusing on said champions your resources get spread way too thin especially early on 
when you don't have means of farming books, for example, or a reliable way of getting energy, because you're if you're not doing your advanced missions, you're missing out on quite a bit of energy there too. As well as not being able to do Doom Tower, where you do get energy, or Centranos, where there are if you're even if you're doing the normal stages, you do get energy from different stages as well. Try not to spread yourself so thin, because if you spread yourself too thin, that encourages and promotes and incites the feeling of struggle, of being stonewalled, of not knowing what to do, what to invest in, where to progress. The best thing I can tell you to do is to focus on one thing at a time, take it step by step. You don't know what to use your energy on? Use it in the dungeons. Go and farm for gear because gear is going to be the number one thing. I tell you, I have champions to make things work. But I don't have the gear. And if I had the gear, a lot of this stuff that I'm dealing with, that I'm facing right now, would be a lot better. And if you want to know who the best rares, in my opinion, are in raid, especially for progression, check this video out. Oh,